Final Tale just got released, and after obsessing on it right when it dropped, I am now ready to give you some beginner tips to help you start your journey. Or if you haven't played it yet, then maybe this will convince you to do so. So without further yada yada, let go! Number 1. In Battle Tale, actions fill up our emotions, and we have to dream, or in human terms, sleep, to convert those emotions into skill points. In the beginning, we only have a limited number of emotion slots, so what we'd want to do is to sleep whenever our emotions are full. This is so we can quickly progress through our skill tree. Number 2. Speaking of our skill tree, we don't really have to worry about what to unlock first, except for the ones needed for quests, because those are top priority of course. And this is because we get to unlock everything at our skill tree without any trouble. We just have to craft a lot of stuffs, host parties, or grab a lot of materials around. But do take note that gathering too much of the same kind reduces the amount of emotions that we get from them. But they reset after we sleep. Number 3. When hosting a festival, remember to check the requirements so that you can choose the best stations to prepare. The party stuffs can also be boosted so that the attendees can produce skill points much faster. Number 4. Food goes bad really really quick in this game. So when you're selling food, you'd want to cook only when they order. If the customer left and the food hasn't gone bad at all, then consider eating it for more emotions and skill points. Number 5. It is also a good idea to check the required food to level up your badges. Try your best to serve the required dishes as they not only give side quests but also unlock more stuffs in your skill tree. Number 6. Serving food is one way to earn stars but if you want to earn more, then you gotta try out vending. And if this makes you impatient, then you can even leave them overnight. It's also a good idea to pair this with fishing as portal fishing gives a lot of stuffs for selling. Number 7. One of the materials that you need a lot of are bugs. And while it takes a bit of time to catch them through bug traps, it is not so bad at all since you can use it over and over. So there's really no need to craft a lot of them. And maybe also consider raising bugs if you want a stable supply. Number 8. Before leaving the island, remember to craft enough portal yarn so that you can go back and forth between islands or even take shortcuts. Number 9. Investing on a bag expansion is needed for any game, including this one. There's a lot of foraging here too, so consider doing that as soon as possible. Number 10. And the most important thing is to never ever forget your backpack, else the game won't let you take shortcuts. Plus, our backpack has everything, so we might as well carry them all the time. And yes, yes, I always forget mine, so this is pretty much a reminder for me too. But that's about it, folks. I hope you're enjoying this game as much as I do, and if you have tips that you want to share to our fellow cozy gamers, then please do let us know in the comments. And super duper thanks to Sludgy for gifting me this awesome little game. Thank you so much! And also super thanks to our dear channel members for your kind support as always. Don't forget to give the like and subscribe for more Battle Hill videos coming your way. Bye bye